Neal <clears throat> Saga, Chapter 35. A visit to Bergpo's novel. Now it was the custom between Gunnar and Njal that each made the other a feast, winter and winter about, for friendship's sake, and it was Gunnar's turn to go to feast at Njal's. So Gunnar and Halgerda set off for Bergvesnal, and when they got there, Helgi and his wife were not at home. Njal gave Gunnar and his wife a hearty welcome, and when they had been there a little while, Helgi came home with Thorhalla, his wife. Then Bergthora went up to the cross bench, and Thorhalla with her, and Bergthora said to Halgerda, Thou shalt give place to this woman. She answered, To none will I give to no one will I give place, for I will not be driven into the corner for anyone. I shall rule here, said Bergthora. After that Thorhalla sat down, and Bergthora went round the table with water to wash the guests' hands. Then Halgerda took hold of Berthora's hand, and said, There's not much to choose, though, between you two. Thou, thou hast hangnails on every finger, and Njal is beardless. That's true, says Berthora, yet neither of us finds fault with the other for it. But Thorvald, thy husband, was not beardless, and yet thou plottedst his death. Then Halgerda said, it stands me in little stead to have the bravest man in Iceland, if thou dost not avenge this, Gunnar. He sprang up and strode across, away from the board, and said, Home I will go. And it were more seemly that thou shouldst wrangle with those of thine own household, and not under other men's roofs. But as for Njal, I am his debtor for much honor, and never will I be egged on by thee like a fool. After that, they set off home. Mind this, Bergthora, said Halgerda, that we shall meet again. Bergthora said she could not be she should not be better off for that. Gunnar said nothing at all, but went home to Lithend, and was there at home all winter, and now the summer was running on towards the great thing.